Since its release, it's taken the internet by storm with its incredible capabilities. People are generating amazing images with it, and if you're not getting that level of output, the problem likely lies with how you're using it. Thus, Google just published 10 ways to make the most of Nano Banana's full potential. If you like an image but don't like a certain feature, instead of generating from scratch, just ask the model to change it. The golden rule of prompting is to be specific and define every aspect of what you want. If you want a picture of a man looking at C, specify what kind of man. Also adding the word movie poster as context led to this really cool cyberpunk style poster. If the context is clear, the model produces a much better image. The model can generate legible and stylized text in the form of infographics. You can ask it to compress dense text or PDFs into visual aids. You have to specify the style of infographic you want. Any text you want to appear should be clearly specified in quotes. This way, the model generates much higher quality infographics. You can use up to 14 reference images for entity locking, specify exact expressions and actions for characters, and even generate viral content compositions. It even added the timestamp for some reason, but the image turned out great. This is why this model is what my graphic designer has been having nightmares about lately. They also provided a guide on creating storyboards with sample character inputs. I gave it one image for reference style and the rest for characters I wanted in my storyboard. It matched the overall style and vibe I was aiming for, and the characters are well designed. But it used the characters in the output even though I asked for them strictly as style reference. You can also use it to generate brand assets. When working on image generation, ground it with Google search to get accurate visuals. Just asking the model to search what you want to generate and the generation improves to an insane level, replicating exactly what we want. This model also has advanced image editing capabilities. It can remove and add objects, restore damaged pictures, and colorize images. When I asked it to colorize and restore this old image, the shadows and highlights were properly applied and the grainy effect from the original was retained. I also tasked it with colorizing a really difficult panel with a simple instruction to match the exact styles. This is what it generated and honestly, it's too good. Nano Banana uses a thinking process to understand the semantics and details of what you're generating. This lets you convert 3D to 2D and vice versa. You can generate a 2D floor plan from a 3D image or convert 2D into 3D. The final edit looked a bit unnatural, but given how well it replicated the butterfly and the book, it just needs to work on the face. Most of us don't use Nano Banana's high resolution generation capabilities. It supports up to 4K, so specifying exact resolution and texture details in your prompt improves quality significantly. The app doesn't show it clearly, but when I downloaded this image, it was 4K with sharp detail in the leaf texture and water reflection. Nano Banana uses a thinking process before generation, allowing it to analyze data and solve visual problems that weren't possible before. With a simple prompt, I had it solve a math question. It evaluated the equation step by step and produced the fully solved answer right on the paper. Nano Banana can also one-shot an entire storyboard with just a few words. It understands narrative, so just explain the scene in a story-like manner and it generates a full storyboard. I was impressed by how it kept the mood consistent and calm, exactly like the story I was aiming to create. Your input images are not limited to references or subjects you want to modify. You can give it a rough draft and it will generate a full image based on your direction. If you're a UI designer, you can provide wireframes and ask it to generate the exact UI. When I tested it with a rough sketch of a perfume advertisement and gave it a style direction, it generated a stunning visual with the exact same idea. It even positioned the sun's gleam correctly on the bottle. The only issue was the font and that the text above and below was exactly the same. I asked it to make changes and it updated the text on top but didn't change the font itself. Still an amazing tool for generating brand advertisements. Now that you know how to use Nano Banana Pro, there's another feature worth mentioning. Higher plans remove the Gemini watermark, but instead embed an invisible synth ID in the image. Using this, it can detect whether an image was AI generated. It can also detect images from other models through style analysis, even though those models don't embed synth ID themselves. Now a quick break to tell you about today's sponsor, Make.com. Make isn't just another automation tool. It's real-time visual orchestration orchestration with intelligent, adaptive behavior built in. Automate at speed with over 3,000 plus pre-built apps and an AI-assisted no-code builder. Make the complex simple by orchestrating Gen AI and LLM-powered workflows. And scale with control using Make Grid, MCP, and advanced analytics that give you full visibility and precision. Create agentic automations that solve problems autonomously, leverage global knowledge, enhance traditional automation, and improve efficiency. With Make AI agents, you can describe goals in 
in natural language and these agents choose the best path forward. With Make's built-in sharing feature, you can instantly publish your scenarios directly to LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, or even the Make community and blog straight from your dashboard. It's automation that's not only powerful, but proudly shareable. Click the link in the pinned comment and start building today. That brings us to the end of this video. If you'd like to support the channel and help us keep making videos like this, you can do so by using the super thanks button below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.